Jason Hugo grew up on a 1,500-acre crop farm in Linwood, Michigan in Bay County. He studied international business at Grand Valley State University and today owns and operates GoFarm LLC, an unmanned aircraft system service using drones to help farmers be better and more efficient at what they do. What our goal of the company is to collect very high quality data um, from aerial imagery um, and sift through that information in order to highlight disease stress within a field. Um, once we highlight that disease stress, then what our goal is is to be able to track that throughout the season and see the impact of different chemicals used to address that disease. Um, what impact that is throughout the season, um, what chemicals are working and what aren't, and ultimately find ways to help the farmer improve their yields, lower their costs, and very importantly, limit their environmental impact. Like many who choose to venture into using drones commercially, the regulatory framework can seem daunting. Drones currently fall under the jurisdiction of the law governing model aircraft operations, which states they can be used for recreational purposes only. The FAA, recognizing the growing demand for commercial drone use, does grant case-by-case -case authorization for certain unmanned aircraft to perform commercial operations, through a Section 333 exemption. To date, close to 400 have been approved nationally. Jason Hugo and GoFarm received their exemption on April 22nd of this year. That exemption allows us to fly within some certain constraints. We're required to have a uh, licensed pilot on site operating the drone, a visual observer on site um, as a backup for the pilot. We're limited to 400 feet in the air uh, above ground level is how high we can fly the drone. We're not allowed to fly at nighttime and we must maintain visual line of sight. Those rules are some of the things in place prior to the finalization of the small UAS rule proposed by the FAA and expected in the next couple of years. In the meantime, GoFarm is excited about the opportunity to help growers across the country. Where within my field do I need X? Put in X as whatever it might be. It could be fertilizer, it could be fungicides, it could be pesticides, and so on. Out in the field, it's really hard to tell by just walking around where exactly in that field you need variable rates of these different inputs. A UAV can fly over that field in a relatively short period of time, map out for you where in that field would benefit from more or less of the input you were thinking about putting in there. From a cost savings perspective, if you can just trim back 10% of the consumption of different nutrients, um, different chemicals, you're talking massive cost savings to farmers. You can learn more about the services GoFarm has to offer by visiting their website at gofarminc.com. Thank <music> you.